Pine River's Rural Renewable Energy Alliance has installed solar panels for homes, businesses, and a variety of other structures. But until this week, they have not applied their solar technology to farms. Hannah Tran has more on the study that experts hope will extend the growing season by several months. A solar panel built into the grounds of a farm. It's a new idea. Minnesota growing season is not as long as some would like it, so this way it's longer. For the first time, the Rural Renewable Energy Alliance of Pine River sought a local farmer to undertake a study. Typical high tunnels extend the growing season, but it may need a boost. Even though they'll heat up quite a bit during the day, they'll also cool down a lot at night. Heat travels up, which makes it difficult to heat the ground. The advantage of the solar panel here is that it takes heated air and filters it directly to the soil. And then it also it releases some of that heat during, during the night to keep the whole high tunnel warmer. They want to stimulate the roots of the crop to new levels by adding solar to high tunnels, perhaps giving a higher yield in a shorter amount of time. But we don't know that yet, and that's part of the project, is to measure the data using a solar thermal tunnel and then mirror it with one that has no ancillary fuel or other heat. Arlene Jones of St. Matthias was the chosen farmer. Jones and solar experts will collect data from a tunnel with solar energy and insulation and one without both. Another will only have this pink insulation. We're thinking with solar thermal capacity we'll be able to start earlier as the days get longer in the beginning of the year and then potentially run them uh, through November and then shut them down when we have such short days in December. Three sets of data from three high tunnels, all fostered from a new and shared idea. Hannah Tran, Lakeland News. Jones and experts from the Alliance will periodically collect data from the three tunnels this summer and throughout fall and winter. They will tally yield numbers, temperatures, and grow times from each. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.